Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another Visual Basic programming tutorial. Uh, what we want to teach you today is the use of while loops in your program. So let's talk about what a while loop is. So basically, it the while loop. Oops. Basically, the while loop is a loop similar to the for loop but for example let's say we were using the for loop for k is between 1 to 100 uh, you're gonna do you're gonna repeat a certain instruction uh, repeat this set of instructions a hundred times the while loop is similar to that format but um, it's more like while k is smaller than a hundred we're gonna do a certain number of instructions we're gonna keep repeating that and uh, within the set of instructions we're going to say k equals k plus 1 so initially k is going to be 1 and then you're going to set up a while loop which says that while k is smaller than 100 so it's going to evaluate the variable k and see if it's smaller than 100 if it is it's going to repeat these instructions so at the end of the instruction you're gonna say k equals k plus one so k is gonna be two but it, it's gonna be slow it's still gonna be smaller than a hundred so it'll keep repeating the instruction until k is a hundred and then it's gonna skip out of that and then it's going to skip out of that um, loop and uh, so basically that's that's the whole point of the while loop and how it's different to the for loop so for example uh, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to program a game called greedy pig greedy pig and uh, if you haven't seen this game before basically what it is is that you're gonna keep rolling a die uh, so you're gonna generate a random number random number from one to six and so I'm gonna program I'm gonna program the uh, program the program to keep generating random numbers between 1 to 6 so let's say I generate 3 uh, and then another 4, four 1 3 5 and then what's gonna happen is as soon as I generate a 2 it will stop generating so the 2 as soon as 2 is generated As soon as 2 is generated, stop the program, stop the program, and add up the totals, add up the total score. So it's going to add all the numbers that I've generated, so it's going to do 3 plus 4 plus 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2 and it's going to give me the total score and another thing I also want my program to do is keep account of how many numbers I've generated so keep count of how many numbers are generated So these are all the things that my program is going to do. 
So let's try and program that in Visual Basic. So let's bring up the program. And I'm going to start a new project. And uh, it's the name of the uh, project. I'm going to call it Greedy Pig. And uh, click OK. Make sure you save this after the project, after the tutorial, because it's very likely that we'll use this uh, program again. So I want you to double click on the form and under public class form 1 we're going to declare some variables so that throughout the whole program we can use it so the scope of the variables is uh, for the whole for the whole program so the first thing we want is the total the total variable so actually dimension total as integer and it's going to start with zero we also want the row number how many rows row number as integer and it's also going to start with zero and we also want the die uh, die number so that is the um, number you row on the die so integer okay so we're gonna program a button so the button is gonna say roll roll die and as soon as we click this button what's gonna happen is it's going to uh, Actually, at the start of the program, we need to run the randomize function. Otherwise, it's going to generate the same, the same random numbers in every program. And when we click the button, what's going to happen is uh, we're going to... Uh, in the die num variable, I'm going to store a random number generated... Uh, between 1 and 6 so this command here is going to generate a random number between 1 and 6 if you're not sure how that works out have a look at the other tutorials so I'm gonna run the while loop and uh, I'm gonna say that while the die is gonna while the die number is uh, not two while the die number is not two uh, well actually I'm gonna create a list box I'm gonna create a list box which is here Listbox one. Listbox one is going to add the number on the die that we just generated. So let's just run this program and see what happens. So if I click row die, oh. So uh, it's gone into a halt. So when I click the button, it's going to generate a random number between 1 and 6. And while this number, do while this number is not equal to 2. I'm going to add I'm going to add this number to the list box.
and I'm going to generate another one. I'm going to generate another one. So if I run this program now, what's going to happen is when I roll the die, it's going to keep generating random numbers between 1 and 6 until it gets to a 2. Until it gets to a 2 and then uh, it's gonna jump out of the program. So when while the number is not a two, it'll keep generate. It'll add the number to the list box, and it'll generate another one. If this number is a two, then it's not gonna add the. Uh, the number to the list. So actually I should probably add another uh, item to the list box at the end just to say that it's uh, generated a 2. So run the program so you can see the last number generated is a 2 run it again so the last number generated is a 2 so the last thing we want to program now is uh, we want it to count how many times it's rolled the die so uh, Initially, the row number is 0, so I'm going to increase it by 1 in the while loop so that every time it rolls the die again, it's going to increase the row number by 1. And the die, uh, sorry, the total is also going to be the uh, amount on the the score on the die is also going to be added to the total and that's going to be done before we roll it again so total plus die num and uh, after the loops are finished I'm also going to make it display the result on a label so this is the label for um, this is a label for number of dice rolls number of dice rolls and I'm gonna call the label dice roll label and I'm also going to have another label called uh, total score and the name of that is uh, total score label okay so at the end after the while loops are completed it's going to display in the uh, in the dice roll label dice roll label dot text equals the the roll number variable and the total total score label text is going to equal the total variable okay let's try that so I'll click row die and number of dice rolls one actually I'm gonna make it add another one at the end row number equals row number plus one after the loop so row die so there's seven rolls, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the total score is 31. 
The problem is the program would have jumped out of the loop when it rolled a 2, so it's not going to add the 2 to the score. Which uh, I guess is okay depending on uh, depending on how you approach it. Um, so that is the that is the program. I hope you get a better understanding of what the while loop is. Basically, it's a way for us to keep rolling the die until a two comes up, then it jumps out of the loop. Okay, thanks for watching guys, see you next time.